Hey folks, how's it going? Hope everything is going well. I just wanted to show you some of my first prints on my Elegoo Mars 2 Pro here. So Daredevil is one of my favorite um, characters and I sculpted him in ZBrush. Resin printing, of course, has a tremendous level of detail, um, which is very exciting. Everything I sculpted, you can pretty much see. I added some like stone texture to him as well. You can see like little divots um, as well. I mean, a pretty, again, a pretty remarkable level of detail. I try to make the Charlie Cox version of Daredevil um, because I love that show so much. Really a shame that it was canceled, but I believe Daredevil is going to be in the new Spider-Man. So that's also very exciting. Uh, I try to capture kind of Charlie Cox's um, look. Let me know if you think I succeeded. His eyes are also very detailed in this print as well, which is really cool. I made a little test print of it as well. Test print came out really well. I thought I made the bottom base too big. So um, in my second effort, I just separated the the bottom. And this is my, like my bottom base, um, like a stone pillar, which would support the bust, right? Something like that. Um, it reminds me of a really high end, high quality model you would get at, at like a comic book store or something. I uploaded these to Cults 3D um, and I'll leave the link um, in the description if you ever want to download it and, and print it for yourself. I don't know if the base is quite necessary. I think it looks nice. It kind of works like thematically, right? The Daredevil model is like a stone type bust. So it kind of works with the, with the pillar. But the pillar takes quite a long time to print as well. So this print took about four hours. Again, that's on the Mars 2 Pro. So I used an exposure of 3.5 seconds, which was a little bit longer than the recommended 2.5 seconds. But it worked out really well. I think I could have gone to about three seconds. The other settings were just on the default settings. Uh, I forgot to mention that I used water washable resin. So I printed one on my Ender 3 version 2 just as a bit of a comparison. Um, the Ender 3 picked up some pretty good details as well. I dialed in my settings on my Ender 3 pretty well. Obviously, it's not going to capture all of the details like the resin does, but I think the one on the Ender 3 looks really good too. Um, yeah, especially printed in marble. It really hides a lot of the um, layer lines. And again, very smooth, very uniform. So really happy with it. Really happy with um, both of these prints. This is one I um, painted red for, for the fun of it. I primed it black and made it like splash splotchy red on purpose and i think it looks pretty cool that way it kind of looks like the the 3d models in the title screen again i'll make my daredevil stl available um, on cults 3d which i'll leave leave in the link if you guys want to try it it'll be available for a dollar um, 3D printing is a super expensive hobby. Um, with any any sort of money I'm, I make with 3D printing, I'll just reinvest it because it's been such a fun hobby um, for me, something that's really keeping me grounded during this quarantine. So um, I, I really do appreciate your, your support and your help. Please let me know what other sculpts and prints you'd like to see. I'm getting more time in ZBrush and I'm really excited um, to be sculpting more. It's a lot of fun. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm actually a traditional sculptor and um, sculpting ZBrush is, is, um, is different, but it's kind of the same principles of, of sculpting. So please do like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, if you have any questions, be, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. Thanks again. Take care. I'll see you soon.